Millwood School is Berry's primary special school. We were very fortunate to be part of building schools for the future and this is the fantastic building that we ended up with. And so when we moved to this new building, we actually uh, designed in rooms that we could put safe spaces in. And at this point now at Millwood School, we have five safe spaces. They're all based in classes where children have autism, but they are used for a wide variety of reasons now. <laughs> it was purchased to begin with to help with um, behavioural incidences so we could keep children safe. Uh, you know, and that is still a part of, of um, why we have safe spaces. But you, you may see sensory stories going on in the safe space. You may see a child uh, being rolled across a gym ball to try and regulate his sensory needs. You may find a child having a hand massage in there to, just to try and, uh, and keep them calm and keep them focused. You may find one lying down and just watching um, some lights that, that we've put in there. So there, there will be a huge amount of activity going on in, in the safe space, all very different, all for very different reasons, uh, but all really helping the children be ready to learn. So intensive interaction can happen in the safe spaces where a lovely communication activity can go on. And, um, and you'll find if a child gets a really good intensive interaction session going, they will ask to repeat that and they will take, they will take a member of staff into the safe space and you get all those positive little activities going on. There we go. It's open to anybody, so children may just go in there for a wonder or a play, whereas it's more planned for specific children. For an example, we taught one child um, who would regularly go into crisis and would regularly need to be held to keep himself safe. Um, that to recognise the changes in his body when he became anxious. So for instance, we were explaining that his heart rate may go up when he's anxious. And it stopped him, it prevented him completely losing control and he would, he would shout and he would say, I'm going in the safe space and he would take himself off. He would usually ask for someone to go with him, which was absolutely fine, because at that point he could that he was then calm enough and confident enough to be able to say what the matter was. So it was massive, really, and, and um, we went from when when he first came to us at Millwood. We, you know, he was being held once, twice, three times a day just to keep himself safe. To never. At Millwood, seclusion is very rare. Um, and it's something that we uh, would only, only ever use as an absolute last resort if, if all else has failed. What we want to do is, for, is to teach children that they don't need to get to that point. They can request other things. They can use a safe space without having to be put in there. And try and teach them other options by understanding why their behaviour um, escalated uh, to that point. Having a safe space here at Millwood just gives the teachers far more options and it just means that we can, our children can be ready to learn for longer periods of time by means that they've chosen themselves. So it I would be very surprised if you went around the school and didn't see any of them being used at any one time. They are an integral part of the classroom, they've, they've been a fantastic resource for our children. <laughs>